Just last week, our Fox News team was hit by Russian fire while news gathering at the outskirts of Kyiv, killing two of our colleagues, Pierre Zavshevsky and Sasha Kuvshinova. Correspondent Benjamin Hall survived the attack and is currently receiving treatment in Germany. But his journey there would not have been uh, not have happened at all if not for the Polish and Ukrainian military, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, and the DOD as a whole, and the group Save Our Allies. They were there to extract Ben from behind enemy lines in the Ukraine and get him to safety. Sarah Verado joins us now. She's head of that group. Uh, Sarah, thanks so much for doing what you did. Can you tell me about how Save Our Allies came to be? Brian, good morning. It's always great to be on with you. Thank you. Save Our Allies was stood up following the attack of the Taliban marching across Afghanistan, taking over. And we came together to say we are going to keep the moral obligation that our own government is failing to our allies. And we were able to extract more than 17,000 Americans and other vulnerable citizens and populations from Afghanistan. And so when we saw... What was happening with Ukraine, we felt that same call to be part of doing something good, even if our own government would not. And there's almost no U.S. troop presence there. There is none, zero. So you had to get in, you had to get out, you needed some professionals. How did you put it together? Sir, when we formed Save Our Allies, it was myself, and I am the caregiver and wife of a catastrophically wounded veteran. And I was able to pull together just the A team, including dear friends who founded Save Our Allies with me, who have extensive experience in the special operations and intelligence community, that they were able to do this effort to extract Ben, that would take otherwise would take normal conventional groups months right. of planning to do, and they were able to do that with speed, precision, and safety. Right, Sarah, it was a matter of getting him out of the Ukrainian hospital and into a hospital that could service his needs. Steve Harrigan told me it took him 40 hours to drive out of the country without giving away the, how you did it. How, what could you tell us about what took place? I would tell you, Brian, that we have people that are trained in five continents in precision extraction behind enemy lines. We have the world's best field trauma surgeons, all of whom are volunteering with Save Our Allies to provide this difference to do operations like the one that we executed last week for Ben. These are men that are saying, send me. They were formed after Isaiah 6, 8. Here I am, Lord, send me. And they are willing to go into harm's way to protect and preserve human life. Sarah, you did almost the impossible, too. You got coordination from governments, from our government. And not not to put them down, but it's very hard to do small things when they're they're, they're really honed for big things. Uh, How did you get their attention that you're a legitimate organization, then you could, in fact, get this done? Well, Brian, as you know, I'm also the CEO of the Independence Fund. And so we've been partnered with Fox for 10 years, among other many other great partners. And so we have credibility and decades of collective experience in the NGO and nonprofit space to show that we are the real deal, that we're going to bring in the right subject matter experts to get the job done now with Save Our Allies. And so other countries, especially our Ukrainian and Polish allies and friends were willing to step forward and do the impossible to extract Ben and get him to a place of safety and stabilization thanks to our team and an incredible multinational effort. And Sarah, what did they tell you about Ben's condition? Ben was gravely injured and my thoughts and prayers are with his family. Um, Of course, I'm, I'm well read into Ben's condition and as the wife and caregiver of a catastrophically wounded veteran, I've been in touch with Ben's wife, um, and they also have three little girls. My prayers are with them. He's got a road ahead of him, right. but he is strong, and his family, they're all fighters. Thanks for doing that. Listen, if you want to do something good today, help out Save Our Allies. Go to saveourallies.org. Uh, thank you, Sarah Verado. Appreciate it. Thanks, Brian.